Aloha, and welcome back to the Cargo Cult Luau, where the only thing more precious to us than gold is our fashion sense. I'm Bob Newmark, your guide on this digital safari, and joining me tonight as navigator and purveyor of puns is my cacophonous co-host, Festigio. Hey buddy, how are you feeling about the show? Absolutely electric. I'm so excited I could almost conduct electricity. But don't worry, I will try to resist. Okay, that was good. Like much that was much more appropriate than what you did the last time. Folks, you can see what we are in for, but Festigio isn't just here to shock us with his electrifying personality. He is also gearing up for a segment later where he'll be telling jokes that are guaranteed to make you piss yourself into oblivion. Jesus Christ, did you... did you add that? What do you mean? That's what your little AI friend wrote for you to say. Look, yeah, okay, look, yeah, I have... I have a script. We're not getting into that on this show. We're not getting into whether I'm reading from an AI or not on this fucking show. Anyway, it's called Festigio's Funnies, and it's coming up faster than you can say Piss Volcano. Seriously? Piss Volcano? Sounds about right. And if that's not enough to tickle the shaft of your funny bone, fucking hell. We will be playing some sweet, sweet Modern Warfare 3. That game is a real test of f***ery, Bob. A real test of your manhood and endurance. What the fuck? You started out so well, like you did. You told a great joke. You know that word is forbidden, and you fucking said it. Seriously. What the, what the fuck? So grab your co- God damn it. What I, what's written here, I can't even- I can't even read. What's written, what you've put on here, I can't even- I can't even fucking read. I'm not- I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna say that people should grab their- Moving on, it's going to be uh, another unforgettable episode of the Cargo Cult Luau, where the bazaar is always celebrated and laughter is the best navigation tool we have. So without further ado, let's kick things off with the comedy stylings of our own Festigio. And you better tell some good jokes. Thanks, Bob. Uh, let's get started with my jokes now. Okay. Have you ever noticed how we buy bananas in bunches, but then we complain about them all ripening at the same time? It's like, what's the deal with banana planning? Do they have a group meeting deciding when to go brown? You know, it's like, all right, bananas, on the count of three, we all go bad. <laughs> Why do we say more fun than a barrel of monkeys? He's putting these monkeys in barrels. And why are we comparing our fun to their probable misery? I've never seen a monkey in a barrel, but if I did, my first thought would not be, wow, they are having a blast in there. <laughs> so I was at the zoo, and I realized something. Monkeys are the only animals that look like they're judging us back. It's like they're saying, sure, I might fling my poop at you, but at least I'm not spending my Saturday staring at animals in cages. <laughs> I was eating a sandwich in the park the other day, and this squirrel comes up to me, staring, and it hit me. If squirrels could talk, they would definitely be the food critics of the animal kingdom. He'd be like, oh, I see you chose the oven butter over peanut butter. Bold choice. A bit derivative on the presentation, but the nut choice is there. Okay, that was pretty good. But it, hold on. Why does it sound, though, that like you're just telling Jerry Seinfeld jokes with like monkeys and the squirrels thrown in? You're right. I think I could explain this with a story. Okay, fine. A story. Okay. Years ago, Jerry Seinfeld was very popular, and he wanted to make some t-shirts for his fans to buy. So he contracted a company in Bangladesh to produce them. He wanted to make sure they were the best quality. So he flew to the factory to visit. And while he was there, 
he went out to see the sights, and he came upon a very large and very beautiful fountain. But there was a group of monkeys sunbathing on the fountain, and I just happened to be living there at the time, you know, with that rip. Well, we all noticed that Jerry Seinfeld was near us, and we all know that in Bangladesh, when you meet a group of monkeys at a fountain, you give them treats from your pockets. So we approached and surrounded Jerry and started reaching in his pockets to try to pull out the treats that he owed us, you know? Well, you know, we were grabbing and pulling whatever we could find, you know, and Jerry started screaming with excitement and pain and- Look, it, Stop, 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 stop. What is it? Is the point of this fucking story that you pulled on Jerry Seinfeld's penis and that's why your jokes sound like his? That's how you got that and that's- Look, I will just say this. When Jerry Seinfeld arrived in Bangladesh, he was considered an average man. But when he left, he was considered a long man. I think I did him a great favor. That is a terrible fucking story. I don't even know what to say about that. We're trying to make this a family show, and you keep saying words you're not supposed to say and telling stories about jerking off fucking Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah? Look, no, your jokes are over, okay? Your jokes are over. And now we'll go to the part of the show where we play Call of Duty. Oh, that sounds like so much fun. And like a beautiful sunset over a calm sea, we've reached the end of another episode here at the Cargo Cult Luau. What a journey it's been. Don't forget, I told some really good jokes. How could we possibly forget your debut segment, Festigio's Funnies, or maybe we should call it Festigio's Piss Volcano? Oh, you know, thank you. Wow, that would be really great if we could call it that, you know? Uh, you know, my goal is to make comedy great again, and that would really uh, help. Fucking whatever. 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 Folks, as we say goodbye for now, we hope you leave with a little more curiosity. Bye, curious. And, and a lot more laughter in your hearts. So until we meet again, keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep on laughing. The journey through life is too mysterious and wonderful to travel with a straight face. So from all of us here at the Cargo Cult Luau, good night and good luck on your own adventures. Yeah, right. You just can't help yourself. You have to ruin the end of the show by saying, yeah, right. What the fuck?